From Chicago's NBC5, this is NBC5 News at 10. What if you could select the sex of your baby ahead in a special report of procedure in Chicago that raises questions about science and ethics? At some point, most pregnant women wonder, is it a boy or a girl? Now the medical advances of the 21st century allow parents to choose the sex of their child. And doctors say it's a more and more common request. Nasita Kwan has more in this special Health Watch report. Everywhere you look around the Riley House, you see boys. We have all boys. 17, 13, 12, and 9. Well, we need to clean them off. But Carrie and Rick also wanted a girl. And during her last pregnancy, Carrie thought she would never have one. And we had a sonogram, and they told me it was another boy. I bawled. <laughs> I mean, not that he's not perfect, but I just knew that we were going to be done after that one, and... I wanted the girl. That's right, that's right. Nine years later, the Rileys are getting the girl they want using in vitro fertilization. Ability to select the correct embryos is 100% accurate. So even though it's not medically necessary, Chicago doctor Randy Morris extracts Ooh, eggs yeah. from Carrie's ovaries. Okay, we're good, Pat. Which are then fertilized outside the womb. In three days, the embryos are sorted by their chromosomes. The girls separated from the boys. We're going to assess them under the microscope to see which ones are mature. The boy okay. embryos will either be frozen and stored or or discarded. Two of the girl embryos are implanted inside Carrie's womb. I feel pretty good. Yeah, I'm kind of really excited. But gender selection without a medical reason remains very controversial. Dr. Morris is one of the few specialists in the country willing to do it. This is human nature. This is what people want to do. Uh, I mean, it's not for me or, or anybody else, I think, to say, you know, what they can and can't do. I have some moral and ethical issues about trying to um, uh, choose gender. Like many American gynecologists, Northwestern Medical Center's Lee Shulman objects. He says medical advances such as in vitro fertilization are for people with a medical need, parents who can't have children, or are worried about passing on a genetic disorder. Gender is not a genetic disorder. This to me is something that uh, at worst is irresponsible and as best is uh, sort of wasteful. Others fear it may lead to designer children with certain hair or eye colors. And the American College of Gynecology and Obstetrics opposes sex selection for personal and family reasons, such as family balancing, because of the concern that such requests may ultimately support sexist practices. It's not like I'm trying to get rid of all girls or get rid of all boys or anything like that. I just kind of want to balance things out. But for Carrie... We're going to cook the meat up and then you can have some. The marvel of medical science is the choice it gives people. She's now pregnant with a girl. I want to do the hair and the dance lessons and um, the wedding dress and just all of it. I actually think it's going to be great. And the Riley boys, they're looking forward to a sister. I really always wanted to have a sister, especially a little sister, because they're all, they're all kinds of fun. The debate over in vitro fertilization is especially heated in countries like China and India, where there's a long-time cultural preference for boys. If you'd like to hear more on the ethics of gender selection, you can go to our website at NBC5.com for more of the interviews with the doctors in our story. Back to you.